Exile Radio presents Review This, a brief look at contemporary and classic albums, movies, and video games, shared by Exile Radio DJs and staff. To get in the Christmas spirit, I thought that I'd watch and review a Christmas movie, and the first one that came to mind was 1994's The Santa Claus, directed by John Pasquin and starring the comedian Tim Allen. Let me preface this by saying what this film tries to accomplish, it does pretty well. It's family friendly with an easy concept for kids to understand. Let me also say that I don't like this movie. Within the first 15 minutes of the movie, Tim Allen has already murdered Santa Claus and is delivering presents around town. Charlie, stay where you are. Charlie, would you listen to me? Stay up there. He's Santa. You killed him. Did not. And he's not Santa. Well, he was. During this time, many jokes are being made which are barely even chuckle-worthy. You cannot put a comedian like Tim Allen in a kid's movie and expect him to pull as many laughs as he normally would. Oh, oh, oh. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. Whoa. It's okay, I'm used to it. I lived through the 60s. The whole plot goes all over the place, and it's kind of sad when you think about it, because everybody thinks that Charlie, the little boy in the movie, is absolutely crazy, because he believes that his father is Santa Claus. This is my dad, Scott Calvin. He's got a really neat job. Thank you, Charlie. My dad is Santa Claus. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> It even gets to the point where Tim Allen no longer has custody of his kid. That is just sad. And it's definitely not something that you would expect to see in a kid's movie. While watching this movie, it's hard not to notice its odd pacing issues. Scenes don't last nearly long enough to set up any kind of character development for anyone besides Tim. And because of this, there's not really a character trait I could point out about anyone in the movie. Charlie is just a curious, uneducated little boy. Tim is a divorced husband that's trying way too hard. And it makes it really difficult to feel for any of the characters. Something that really doesn't help this movie is the poor acting. Charlie is probably the worst actor, and you know what, I'm gonna give him a pass because he is a lot younger than anyone else in the cast, but he has about two emotions. The entire plot revolves around him and his dad, and they have awful chemistry. Tim Allen is just a s and Charlie is just a little brat. And it really doesn't make sense why Charlie still even wants to be involved with his dad because he just doesn't treat him well. There are many times throughout the beginning of the movie where we see Tim just getting fed up with Charlie and it's very clear that he's not very good of a dad. Alright. Daddy's. It's always open! I don't want to eat here. What are you talking about? Everybody likes Denny's. It's an American institution. So when they expect you to root for him and not the other characters that actually treat Charlie well, it just doesn't resonate. Tim Allen's character is just downright selfish, where he visits Charlie despite him not being allowed to due to Charlie's declining mental health. Does Tim Allen care? No, because he wants to be Santa Claus. It is so hard to watch this movie and root for any of the quote-unquote protagonists. Despite all of its faults, it is a fun kids movie that some would enjoy. Although there is much better options out there for a Christmas movie for your kids, this isn't too bad. I'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10. For Exile Radio's Review This, I'm Eric Red.